guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Die Cars video and today we have one in one 70 second scale of course from, I don't know, it's in a plain brand box, there is no real advertising on this particular box of uh, who makes it unless it's in the Chinese writing here, as you know I do not speak Chinese at all. Um, but this particular aircraft, though, is a Nanchang Q5, which NATO refers to as a Fantan, and is a Chinese-built ground attack aircraft based on the Shenglang J6, uh, which itself was based upon the Russian MiG-19. Um, it was introduced to the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 1970, and it would also be used by a number of other uh, forces around the world as well. It was made between 1969 right up to 2012, with approximately 1,300 aircraft in all variants made, of course. And uh, these do still remain uh, in limited service with uh, smaller military nations around the world that aren't quite up to the uh, you know, state of the art of, say, the United States or the Russians or anything like that, more modern sort of militaries. And I, I grabbed this uh, off eBay for $70. So um, hopefully the low price and the low box art doesn't reflect the model inside. And speaking of the model inside, let's get this... Q5 right out of this box right now. Here it is out of the box, so we'll just get this uh, lid off the plastic blister packet and have a little look at the aircraft itself sitting in there. It does have a stand already assembled. It does look like to be the metal stand. Um, this is a sort of a similar sort of build type as some of the other um, generic sort of uh, aircraft that some of the uh, Chinese manufacturers do make uh, in regards to cheaper sort of die-cast models, but this one doesn't look too bad actually. So what we'll do is we'll get this out of the packet here and uh, it should pop out beautifully. Thank you very much, finally. And we'll just move that out of the way and we'll concentrate on this aircraft here and the colours, very nice. It is quite a striking uh, sort of olive drab sort of uh, colour here. So not, uh, not your white or silver ones that are quite common with the Chinese aircraft. And overall, I reckon this is pretty good for, for um, budget. $70, you know, the value of this uh, compared to your more expensive brands, as you well know, you know, Corgi, Hobby Master and, and, and the like. Uh, this is not too bad. Uh, if you are trying to sort of get some uh, Chinese aircraft into your collection, this particular one is really nice. We will have a look at some of those details a little bit closer here for you. The panel lines are quite quite good. I reckon it's not a, not a bad rendition at all. Uh, I have had some Chinese aircraft that are made cheaply by Chinese manufacturers that really don't do the, the Chinese military aircraft justice. And, you know, you're producing garbage and it, it doesn't reflect well on the aircraft. But this is produced really well. Oh, I don't have a problem with this at all. I reckon it comes up quite nice. And the beauty of it is it seems to be all assembled. So that... Uh, that takes a load off my sausage fingers minds and uh, we'll turn it over and have a little look underneath and uh, as you can see there it's even got some great detail underneath so obviously all the ordnance and the landing gear is on it's got some detail in the um, Bombay and even in the wheel wells it's got some different colors that they've gone to that trouble as well and I reckon that is fantastic and it's got some bomb details that is really really good obviously those big holes there is where that stand will mount um, the wheels, they do, yes, they do roll. Even the front one rolls. Look at that. Uh, this this, this is really nice. I, I do not mind this one at all. I think it's it's come up quite good. And the underneath is really nice. We don't have to put in anything together or anything like that. It, you're 70 bucks, you open the box, you rip it straight out of the packet and you chuck it on your shelf and she's, you know, all good to go. I reckon that is fantastic. And uh, it actually makes it for a shorter video. So you guys will be happy about that as well. But I reckon that's it's pretty good for sure. I don't have a problem with this one at all. Well, what we'll do is we'll quickly whack it on the stand. And that's the stand that does come with it. It has some details of the aircraft on there. If you can speak uh, Chinese, all, all the better for you. Um, we'll just chuck it on the deck. So on the stand like that, bang. Job done. That is great. And uh, this little Q5 is all set up, ready to go, and it does look really nice. I, I think this is a really good effort um, by whoever makes it. As I said, there is no real uh, manufacturing detail on the box. It's a plain box with a little bit of Chinese writing on there, but there's no symbol for the manufacturer or anything like that. But uh, yeah, all right, I'll try not to uh, extend this video with me waffling on about shit like that. 
I will wind this video up. And uh, once again, this is the Nanchang Q5 from the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force. And uh, I reckon it is a pretty good effort. And uh, for $70, I reckon this is really nicely done. And uh, I reckon it's a, a bit of a score for sure. Um, you will not be disappointed if you're uh, trying to build up a bit of a Chinese collection in your uh, in your display cabinet for sure. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for um, sticking around and watching uh, this video. I will take some happy snaps of this as per usual. If you can spare the time and you did enjoy the video, throw us a bit of a like. And if you haven't yet to subscribe to the channel, of course, feel free to do so as well. And you can be kept up to date with more videos that I will be, of course, putting out as long as my wallet can keep afford buying these models. All right, once again, I do thank you very much for spending your valuable time watching one of my videos. I appreciate it immensely. All right, guys, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.